you have community or person or region or even the country strong enough to uh, survive undesired changes. I mean, there are always changes. The environment is changing. Sometimes it's more favorable. Sometimes it's less favorable. The change is less favorable. Sometimes it's even dangerous. And the thing is, how to balance these changes for their good, for the for their well-being. And sometimes it can be very tricky. And uh, for me, this means that we should build up this capacity in the good times and to be prepared for the bad times. That, that's for me. I have an example from my work, actually. Uh, I was once working with the community which was located uh, in National Park and the restrictions became bigger and bigger. We now know this concept of national parks sometimes go beyond the borderline where it's really acceptable for, uh, let's say, survive, surviving of people which are living there. We are building national parks for anybody else but not the human. So that was the challenge. Uh, this was uh, National Park Muranska Planina in Slovakia. And I worked with them on the local development strategy, how to actually build up a social and economic part of it. Because environment was ensured by the strong regulations and it was not easy for them. So that was one example. I think they have succeeded. They have a very good collaboration with National Park and they can still live in there.